All right, you guys. Today I'm gonna to render some beef fat into liquid. Um, my local Asian market sells beef fat, and I always wondered, you know, about rendering it down so I can have it, you know, some oil for cooking my little stir fries. So I bought this 1.8 pounds for a buck 49. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna trim off some of the meaty parts, and I'll probably toss out any kind of a, uh, you know, funny colored stuff and just see how it how it goes now what you should do is you should cut this stuff up into small pieces now i looked on youtube and some people put it in a blender and took little tiny pieces and so on and so on i don't have a blender i don't know why you would do it but they said it makes it better render faster or easier or whatever i don't know some folks do it in the oven some people do it inside of a you know a slow cooker and everything but all i'm going to do is just chop this stuff up and put it into a, um, a pot on the stove and at a low heat I'm going to render it down just to see you know how it goes all of this will go into a pot on low setting and I will let it cook for I don't know how long an hour two hours I'm not really sure and then I'll take it out anyway so uh, stand by <laughs> Alright you guys, it's been a little while, um, I got busy and blah blah blah, but I finally rendered it all down. Let's see, can you see this? Hang on. Alright, I rendered it all down using, um, I believe, the low setting on my electric stove. Okay, so now, don't mind the um, not so clean part because I did other bits in the same uh, strainer. Now we just strain it, okay? Strain all this. Now I will let it cool. Oh damn. I will let it cool and then I will drop it into this jar. Alright, so I'm back in a flash. Alright, let the oil cool down for a little while. Excuse my messy kitchen as always. I got my little strainer, a brand new jar, and let's pour this oil into the jar. That's it. <laughs> I thought I would get more. It's not warm or at room temperature, but this is kind of, I believe, the color you're looking for on the uh, on the oil. It's not burnt or any um, what do you call it remnants inside here. Not too many. Just a tiny bit at the bottom. But hey, all right. So now, what I saw, you can store this in your refrigerator or your freezer for you know an amount of time. I think the freezer, some guys said for a year. Refrigerator, a few months. Or some people, some people leave it out and um, use it for their stir fry or whenever they need some kind of oil to cook their food. All right, you guys, that was kind of fun, actually. Rendering beef fat down into some oil for cooking. All right, like I always say, if you see you buy it, try it. Hope you like it. Take care wherever you are, and have a great day. Thank you very much for watching. All right. Some people will cook these down a little bit more and then eat them. Maybe add a little salt, pepper, or some kind of sauce, or, you know, ketchup, mustard, or whatever. It's almost like a pork cracklings, yeah? But it's beef instead. All right, thanks again. All right, so I had this in the refrigerator for a few hours, and it turned white and it turned solid. So when you want to use it, you can just scoop some of it out. Or let it warm up a little bit before you scoop it out and then go ahead and use it all right anyway this is a very interesting little project of rendering down beef fat i recommend everyone if they want to get their own you know, beef fat for cooking stir fries and whatnots and whatever to go ahead and do it if i said it once i said a thousand times if you see it by a tried hope you like it take care wherever you are and have a great day and render some beef fat it's easy and not too too time consuming have a great day